In this video, we're going to combine the first and the second law of thermodynamics to come up with a new expression, which is called the fundamental equation. We're moving into a section of the material that is going to be uh, heavily theoretical. This is kind of the first uh, uh, video in that series, and uh, kind of the overarching goal, overarching goal of that uh, series of videos that is uh, just coming up is going to be to find the relationship between some of the state functions that we have handled so far, right? So internal energy, enthalpy, uh, entropy, Gibbs energy, and Helmholtz energy. All those are state functions uh, that are, uh, it's important to see how they are related uh, between them and with other state functions that we can easily control, such as temperature, pressure, and volume. Right, so again, uh, the next series of videos is going to show uh, how all these things are related to each other. And we start here with uh, kind of a digression into uh, how to combine the first and second laws of thermodynamics uh, to, stem, to come up with something that is called the fundamental equation and begins to show how those uh, state functions are related. All right, so let's uh, take the first law, which is uh, uh, this one. We're going to take a differential form and we're going to assume a reversible process. Okay, so that will be the statement of the first law for a reversible process, and then what we're going to uh, what we're going to do here is uh, simply plug in there uh, our work of the second law. Remember, or with the second law, remember the definition of thermodynamic entropy uh, was simply this: the Q rev over T. So we have here a way to obtain that uh, reversible heat, right? So then the first law turns into T differential of S plus the work reversible. Okay, that's fine. And then what we're going to do next is to uh, assume that uh, in these processes we're not going to be making any attempt at extracting uh, energy as work other than expansion. Okay, so we're not uh, going to try to extract electrical work or this is not going to be a cell or a human being where energy can be extracted as m muscular work or as thought, or you're pushing ions against grains, or any such thing, right? So the only uh, possible work would be expansion work. And if that is the case, then we know what that expression is going to be. Differential of U is T differential of S, and if you only have expansion work, then this is equal to ex uh, P external differential of V. Uh, one more thing, though, is that, of course, if uh, uh, this is a reversible process, then you have mechanical equilibrium between system and surroundings, and that is exactly the same thing as the, the external pressure is identical to internal pressure, and then you get that this is uh, the equation that applies. So this is called the fundamental equation, and uh, it shows you a nice relationship between internal energy, uh, uh, which is a state function, and then other state functions like entropy and uh, volume, right? Uh, and this is kind of interesting, because we have seen uh, a different way to express the sensitivity of the internal energy to different state functions, right? So remember that uh, early on, we actually defined the state function as dependent on the volume and temperature. And we said then that uh, if that is the case, differential of U can be expressed simply as the partial derivative of U with respect to volume at constant temperature, differential of volume, plus the partial derivative of the internal energy with respect to temperature at constant volume, differential of T. And then we actually moved a little forward, uh, further to then uh, come up here with uh, the values of these partial derivatives. This we called uh, the internal energy uh, pi of T, differential of V. And then this is just the heat capacity at constant volume, C sub V, uh, differential uh, of T. All right, so notice that uh, we have here two different expressions for uh, the dependence of the internal energy uh, on variables, right? So here you have the internal energy, this is a U, right, as a function of entropy and volume. Here you have internal energy as a function of volume and temperature, right? So which gives you kind of a, a first glimpse of how rich uh, the relationships between these uh, state functions are going to be. Right, in the next series of videos, uh, we're going to again begin to uh, try to delve a little deeper into these connections, and uh, we're going to be getting into something that are called the Maxwell relations. 
which again is essentially uh, this work but involving uh, many of these other uh, state functions.